space discretization and time discretization already covered. So I said at the beginning that there is distinction between discretizing space and discretizing equations. Uh, so right now we want to move to the second topic and what's the idea? Discretization discretization of equations uh, is the second step that we need to do um, when moving from a physical mathematical problem to, to the discretized um, to the discrete algorithm. And let's assume we've got a very, very simple ODE, the one that I have already mentioned. Uh, what does it mean to discretize it? If we use the explicit Euler formula, this would mean that we want to have some repre representation of U at the new time step minus U at the current time step divided by time step. It's the approximation of the first time derivative minus lambda U and taken from the current time step. This would be the forward Euler uh, formula. Mm, nothing sophisticated. But what I want to say, this criticization of equations means moving from the infinite dim dimensional function space of all the functions that you could think of being the solutions of such a problem to moving just a finite set of algebraic equations that can be solved by a computer. Okay? A computer cannot solve a differential equation. So if you want to solve anything on the computer, you need to end up with a finite set of algebraic equations, not, not differential equations. And that's what we, what we call by, by discretization of equations. Mm. And a very, very important remark that is associated with the discretization of equations is there is a theorem saying that if you've got a numerical scheme that is, first of all, stable, um, and we will see what stable means when we will be dealing with, for example, finite difference method, uh, and that is consistent, then it's guaranteed that it's convergent. These are, well, first of all, it must be stable, so it must behave in a, in a stable way. We will be talking about this later. Now, I want to focus what is consistent. Consistent means that you're making, you're moving from this differential equation to the algebraic equation. You use some time discretization, if you're using, if you're dealing with PDs, you would be also having some some space discretization, so some delta x or h, how, how, however you call it. Uh, consistency means is if you go down to the limit, to the li if you go down to zero with this time step size or this um, mesh sizes. Does your set of algebraic equations um, approximate the, the differential equation? And I will be showing you this on the advection diffusion equation example. Uh, it's important to see, does your, does your, uh, does your algebraic scheme re-approximate the differential problem or does it make any, any additional terms? Uh, it should not add any additional terms when going with the time step size or the mesh size uh, to the limit of zero, like in the limit of t approaching zero. This one should go into this one. This means consistency. 
if it's consistent, so it represents the equation that you wanted to solve, and if it's stable, then it will be convergent. What means convergent? It means that in this limit, the solution of the numerical, of the numerical um, model will converge exactly to the analytical solution. 